It's Friends Around Friday, folks. Oh, I'm just a little bit giddy, but I am remaining calm. In front of me, a busier studio than ever before. We've loved her since Nuts in May and Abigail's party. Life is sweet singing detective. She was Mrs. Bennett in Pride and Prejudice. And of course, Gavin and Stacey. She's back with a brand new series of Here We Go. Alison Steadman, how are you, darling? Ooh. Yes. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I yeah. hear there was a bit of a spillage, Alison. Yes, I've just spilled um, a very large cup of tea all down my jumper. You can't but, tell. You know. I know, Liam to the rescue. I yeah. hear. Well, yeah. yeah. He was so kind. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. Uh, we'll come to him in a moment. She is the queen of This Is England, Line of Duty. Trigger Point is back. Also, queen of day raving. We will discuss this later. Vicky McClure, welcome back to The Breakfast Morning. Show. Oh, Thank love. you. Yeah, good You're getting thanks. ripples this morning. I like it. <laughs> And a pair of Mancunian icons. Surely I don't need an intro. Yeah, no, just, just, <laughs> just LG. Just, 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 just get straight for John. John Squire <laughs> is here. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see you. Good We're morning. working with you. How are you, John? I'm good. Yeah, very chilled as ever, John. Always Almost so asleep. chilled. <laughs> you probably will be at the end of this interview, John. Um, and LG in the house. Yeah. Liam, how are you, darling? I'm all right, Mum. Do you all know each other? Have you met Alison before, Vicky? Mutual no, we've friends. Never met before, we've never we? met me and Vicky. I'm glad we have never met. My goodness no. me. I'm imagining big admirers of each other's work. Oh my work. god, yeah. I, sure. I'm a huge fan of this lady. We go. Huge. Lovely. I'm a huge, obviously I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Legend and... I know, I know. As a spread, I have to say, pretty pretty special. Liam, you've been up since goodness knows yeah, when. Yeah, two o'clock, I think. 2.45. <laughs> well, I met this lady once. Uh, I met, met her. I walked past her in the MNS in Muswell Hill. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't stop to... Cool yeah. places. It is cool places. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? MNSs are Isn't cool places. Amazing? Yeah. Really there she is. Yeah. There she is. Is. Did you look round and go, I know... She didn't help me with my I bags know. either. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off. Burn <laughs> off in a Ferrari. <laughs> it's amazing who you see in m &S. You see Alan Bennett in m &S in Camden. Right. Um, and just sort of wander past being like, oh, he's extraordinarily tall. Right. Um, yes, well, lovely to have you all here. Yeah. Uh, lots and lots of exciting stuff to discuss. Uh, an OBE, an MBE and two rock and roll stars in the studio at the same time. It's going to be uh, quite expensive. Uh, it's going to be quite exciting is what I'm thinking. Uh, Vicky, how exciting are you because I know you are a massive Stone Roses fan. I am. I'm a massive Stone Roses fan. I'm a massive Oasis fan. I'm freaking out like you are. Yes. <laughs> I could just I'm trying to keep it cool though. Yeah. Hi, Sammy. Hi, I'm glad this you're here. Hold my hands. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? It's like, you know, I'm 53 years old. You shouldn't be starstruck. I'm a massive Stone Roses fan. Yeah, I'm banging at Oasis as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> natural, man. I don't know what you're freaking oh, out for. Oh, my goodness. And Al Alison, are you a massive Oasis Stone Roses fan? Mm. Um, do you get out to much live music? <laughs> I don't go to much live music, okay, no. no. Um, I, I, you know, in the past I have been, but I'm getting old now, dear, oh, you know. <laughs> you're not that old, you're looking at you. Look I, I, I must say, I do find crowds a, yeah. a, a, a bit, not scary, but... Annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not annoying, but uh, but I difficult to cope with. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? If there's thousands and thousands of people and, well, you know, they're pushing and shoving and, you know, I sort of think, oh, no. 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 I'm much more civilised. Would you go to music when you can sit down? Absolutely. Like yes. Okay. So we may not get her to the day rave, Vicky McClure. Uh, well, but I was just thinking that we can we can find a nice you know area. I get that. We can get you an area. Yeah. Day rave. So it's in the day, and then you're home for eight o'clock. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're going to play uh, "Sweet Female Attitude," and then we'll chat in depth with our lovely guest today. So Liam Gallagher and John Squire have come together um, to make some music together. It's a long time we wanted this to happen. Obviously, there was a moment with the Seahorses. There was a moment in Nebworth back in 96 and then in 2022 when John joined Liam on stage, of course. But actually, to go in the studio and make music together. There is a huge hub of excitement about this music that's come out. Liam, firstly, though, weren't you meant to be taking an, a year off to find yourself? Did you tell Joe Wiley that? Well, no, to lose myself. Oh, that was it. To get rid of myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, well, after in there with and I just thought maybe I need to get out of people's heads you know faces and that and I had to go and get an operation as well and then uh, John ruined that by calling me and asking me would I what, like to uh, sing some of his songs and that so fantastic and have the year off went back grafting so there you go there you go so when did when was this seed planted for you John when did you start thinking hang on we've got to do some stuff together and how does it work between the two of you when you're writing together um, I think the, the first time we spoke about it was when I went to rehearse for Nebworth for that one song. Yeah. Uh, 
and I've always known it would work, never thought it would happen. I feel like I've found a magic lamp and got that first wish. Excellent. Um, I wonder what the next two will be on the lamp. Two Fant more albums. Two more albums. Fantastic. This is great. So, um, uh, the working together, how does that work, Liam? John does all the work and okay. I sort of just pop up at the end and sort of put it in the back of the net. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. Goal and go. And did you do that? No, I mean, John wrote the songs and that, yeah. so, you know, I just think, you know, he had it all sort of mapped out and done and that. And, I just had to do the singing, which is great, you know what I mean? I think, you know, not, it was all done, so there's no point in me coming in and spoiling the party, you know what I mean? It wasn't all done. Well, it was, I mean, the songwriting and all the, the songs yeah. we record, you know, we've done and that, and then we had to sort of just do my, had to do my bit, which I find very easy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just a natural. Know, yeah, there you go. And what about lyrics and stuff like that? It's, you know, you you writing that, those, John's writing John the lyrics. Yeah, he did it all. Yeah. Oh, we've had an easy time of it, Liam. What a lovely time. Naked. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, he had it all sort of mapped out and done and that, and I just had to do the singing, which is great. You know what I mean? I think you know not, it was all done, so there's no point in me coming in and spoiling the party. You know what I mean? It wasn't all done. Well, it was. I mean, the songwriting and all the it, the songs yeah. we record. You know, we've done and that, and then we had to sort of just do my I had to do my bit, which I find very easy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, just a natural. Yeah, there you go. And what about lyrics and stuff like that? It's, you know, you you writing Don't, those. John's writing John the lyrics. All. Yeah, he did it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you work, you work so hard. Like, no. no, but um, I, no, it's, it's great, man. Yeah. I think it's turned um, out well, you know what I mean. Where, and where did you record it? Was it, was it at your studios, John? We did demos at mine, yeah. my house, but uh, we recorded the album in LA. Yeah. Because we wanted to work with Greg Kirsten, yeah. who Liam knew well, and. Uh, there's no point in dragging him out of his comfort zone, so yeah. we went to his studio. Okay. And his studio's really good, it's one of them that works, everything works. You go to these studios most of the time and you go, oh, that, can we try that over there and it doesn't work. Right, okay. So everything like here the BBC. Every, everything yeah. in his studio works. And it's on all the and time. And it's on. Wow. There was a green button on the desk yeah. and I said, what does that do? I was really tempted to just push it because it was so, it was glowing. It was talking it to you. It was drawing me in, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went, no, that turns everything off. What? And you never do that. You never do that. Um, amazing group of musicians as well that you, you're working with. But the great thing is you are taking this record out on the road yeah. as well, um, which the fans are going to, just they're going to lose it. It's going to be Vicky, you, me. Yeah. Alison will find her a quiet area where she can sit down. Um, yeah. well, you like to think so. I mean, people like, people like, Oasis or the Roses and that, I think they'll like it, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're into Bjork, I don't think you're going to dig it that much, you know what I mean? I think you can be in Bjork, uh, be into Bjork and yeah. be into you guys. Uh, maybe, but okay. I just think, you know, if you put like this kind of thing, I think people are really going to like it and, you know, and there'll be a few people that don't like it and good for them. <laughs> good for them. Well, from what I've heard from the album so far, is amazing. Um, can you tell us a bit about some of the themes on the album, My son John? doesn't like it. He doesn't, doesn't he? Uh, how, massive how Bjork fan. <laughs> <laughs> How old's your son, John? He's 12. He's 12. Okay, what's he into, though, musically? Um, not much. Okay, all um, right. A couple of Eminem songs and Back in Black. The song, not the band. Yeah, okay. It'll come, though. Every time, the we play it a lot in the car, my wife does as well, and every time it's on, it's like, not this again. <laughs> not this again, <laughs> Dad. Trying to, try to open the door. <laughs> Do you know what, though? It is Why that the thing. Does it, the truth from your children. Does to hear it <laughs> in like the that. car park? Does he make you part round the corner yet? That'll come. If he's only 12, you might not get that yet. Don't go anywhere near school, please. No, that's not happening yet. That does happen, Liam, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Actually, Alison, do you remember that moment when your kids were old enough that suddenly they were like, no, please don't want me in school? Uh, yes, I do. Yes. No, that, I mean, you know, you, you, they get to that age when they're just embarrassed by you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and you just can't wait for them to grow up and actually stop going, um, you know, I, I, I'm a bother, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think if you're paying for that education, you should be allowed to walk into school then. <laughs> it's very, and very I'm out, true. And I'm out in a canteen and that, you know what I mean? I'm paying for it, man. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, well, the album is called Liam Gallagher and John Scar. It's coming out on the 1st of March. Uh, brand new single uh, to play now, Mars to Liverpool. Uh, Liam, what can you tell us about this one? Brad's to play it. 
John will have to tell you everything about it. OK, John, what do you want to tell us about it? Um, it started with a text chat between me and Liam about being disappointed at getting to your destination. Right, we've all had that. Yeah. OK. And we, there was a, we start, it went from that to space travel. <laughs> Very quickly. I was imagining <laughs> how disappointing it would be to get to Mars. Would it be the same? You go all that way and then you're disappointed. Yeah. Brilliant. From Liam Gallagher and John Squire, this is Mars to Liverpool. <laughs> I mean, how good is that sounding in your ears this morning? Mars to Liverpool, Liam Gallagher and John Squire. Great reaction, boys. Uh, love this song from the boys. Oh, my gosh. My brother Michael nearly joined as a roadie when they performed at Warwick Uni uh, when they first started out, apparently. Uh, Michael was doing his degree when my... He told my mum, uh, I would have killed you. About two months later, Oasis hit the charts and the rest is history. I think he's livid. He's livid that he never did. And he's in Newbury. What's he doing now? Wow. I absolutely love that. 351 on the text. This is a tune, says John. Biblical. Liam and John <laughs> loving the tune uh, from AD. Simon says, well done, lads. Huge. Uh, if you want to know when the boys are going out on the road, tickets for the tour go on sale next Friday. Um, and it's, it's not that long, is it, until you're out on the road? I don't know, I haven't thought about it. So yeah. Fun. It's just sort of just one day at a time, isn't it? One day at a time. Well, before you know it, you'll be up there blowing, yeah. blowing kisses at everybody and they'll be blowing them back. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not, to, try not to think about not it. Just, just, That's just job. Otherwise, otherwise just stress out, you know what I mean? When you think that you've got oh. to some, do something, you know what I mean? It'll just happen when it happens. Yeah. yeah. Smiling. It will. Smiling, yeah. you know what I mean? You just, I've, you've just missed a really <laughs> brilliant conversation about photo shoots and being made to smile and some of the f things that photographers have tried to make Liam do in photo shoots, like be yeah. a tiger. Be a tiger, yeah. I mean, please. <laughs> I know. Good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, amazing album artwork here. We've got look, got the vinyl there, all the tracks on the front there. I'm a wheel, make it up. You're not the only one. Any particular favourites for you, John, on this album, this amazing piece of work? You're talking about the artwork. I yeah, like, the, I like the bleach. <laughs> the bleach. <laughs> also the songs, John. Um, you know, the, favourite song is yeah. uh, Mother Nature's song. That, okay. that, that's my favourite as well. Okay, beautiful. That, it keeps tripping me up. That one. And that's that's the last one. So, mm. And this is the one. Is this the one where John, when you first heard Liam? sing it that you teared up uh i welled up you welled up yeah okay let's get that to be right. exact <laughs> yeah. no, no liquid rolled down the cheek <laughs> <laughs> let's not take it too far i teared up actually did you yeah when you heard your own vocal yeah <laughs> <laughs> I made um, myself cry. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, well, the single is out now. The album, we've got to wait till the 1st of March. Uh, if you pre-order the album before Tuesday, you'll get early access to tickets, by the way. It's so fans, you might want to get on that uh, immediately. Uh, Richie has the travel for you coming up. The FA Cup. Newport County versus Manchester United. The FA Cup fourth round. This weekend, listen on sounds, watch on BBC iPlayer. Liam, yeah, he was good, wasn't he? Well, he was in one week. On, on one week? Saying, a little bit the last week, I think, isn't it? On Strictly, Richie. Well, one of them dance things, and I saw you one week. Yeah. And you were having the time of your life. I think it was the and quick I, step. Quick one. step? Yeah, that's it, that one. Yeah, I thought you'd done well there. Thank you. You <laughs> did, see? Oh, it Thank means you. a lot to you, doesn't it, yeah. when you get those. Especially Liam Gallagher watching Strictly. I Love it. Uh, what have you got for us, Richie? We're going to start in Belfast. So, Albert Bridge at the FA Cup fourth round. There's some brilliant ties to look out for. Starting this evening in North London, the holders are in town. Manchester City play Spurs tonight. Are you going, Lim? You're not? I will watch it from my house. Okay. I get into too much trouble with football. <laughs> <laughs> Prediction, though? I don't do any of that stuff. No. No, no, no. City will back themselves, being the holders. We'll, we'll see, won't we? It's a game of two halves and anyone can win, can't they? Very true. <laughs> Cliché central. Cliché central. Arguably, though, tie of the weekend is live on BBC One this Sunday. Newport County taking on Manchester United. John Squire, you are a huge United fan. They're not having a great season, are they? But surely they won't slip up against Newport. I hope not. Yeah. Fingers are crossed. Fingers are crossed. It's live on BBC One, uh, looking for a giant killing. But I wanted to play you this, uh, John. Did you hear what former United captain Gary Neville said about you and the Stone Roses last week? No. This is Gary Neville selecting some of his favourite music on BBC Sounds last week. 
This is the one by Stone Roses, the greatest Mancunian band that have ever existed and the greatest album that a Mancunian band have ever produced. This is the one is special because when I became captain of Manchester United, I went to the club and asked them if we could start playing This Is The One in the tunnel. That John Squire guitar is mesmerising. Sounds like no other guitar player that I've ever seen or heard. So when I think of that out-of-body experience that I had every single week at Old Trafford, that sort of that goosebump feeling, and have been in the tunnel. You can't really explain what it's like. Nice praise from Gary Neville. Do you, do you know him? I've met him a couple of times. I don't know him well, but I, I didn't know he was responsible for getting that tune played. Yeah, and they, they, they line up in the tunnel, <coughs> to, tunnel to, to This Is The One. And Liam, thoughts on Gary Neville calling The Roses the greatest Mancunian band that have ever existed? I agree with him. <laughs> Diplomatic. <laughs> Diplomatic. Well, all the FA Cup live across the BBC, Five Live uh, and BBC One this weekend. And uh, briefly, don't forget as well, NFL divisional rounds uh, on Sunday. Kansas City at Baltimore, 49ers host Detroit. Two of those four teams will make it to the Super Bowl. We'll round it all up on Monday, Zoe. Have a great sporting weekend. Thank you very much, my darling. Mary Shuckles and um, praise you. It's Friends Round Friday on BBC Radio 2. Uh, we have Alison Stedman with us. Uh, like a bit of fatigue now and again. Alison, don't you watch a bit? I do. Yeah, I do. Liverpool fan? Yeah. Yes, big oh, Liverpool fan. Yeah, I know. Let's <laughs> not... Sandwich, I'm in here. Between, <laughs> sandwich between United and Liverpool. <laughs> Stick to me this. Uh, let's not even start on Nottingham. Not uh, Scouting, if that helps. All right, yeah. All right. Okay, is that all right? There you go. That's, that's all right. Um, uh, Vicky, it's so lovely to have you on the show again. Why? Um, uh, Alison, do you think you'd be good in a highly stressful situation uh, that, uh, you know, like Vicky's character was in, in Trigger Point? Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know. Well, no, well, no. <laughs> Liam, you are much calmer than you used to be. Yeah. Um, could you handle the sort of high stress of a situation? If there is ever a crisis, Liam, do you uh, remain yeah. calm? I, uh, I've got a good steady hand, man. Okay. Wow, look oh, at wow. that. Steady, that yeah. is very steady. Considering. Okay. All right. Do you think you could cut the right wire? No, I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably mess that up. <laughs> but I'd, but I'd, I'd, I'd cut it steadily, though. You would. Cut the wrong one. Also, thank you for editing yourself brilliantly there as well. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, John, highly stressful situation. You're so chilled, John Squire. I feel yeah, like you... I'd, I'd smash it, yeah. As yeah, I say, yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> I mean, imagine having John Just Squire in the On team. your team. Yeah, it's all right. We're sending in John Squire. and he's going to be absolutely <laughs> fine. Also, uh, this is the gear that you... Right, I hate it when you see people on telly drinking a tea and there's nothing in there. Oh, yeah. Carrying a bag Carrying a and there's nothing case. in there. I'm yes. like, so, uh, you know, oh, I'd just, oh, I'd just much rather... Put your back into it, it Come on. Lift that cup of tea and you can drink it. Absolutely. Lightweight. Yeah, so I do. I yeah. use the right. I use the real thing, but it's it is very heavy. Yeah. It, it's yeah. It looks seriously. I mean, heavy. I can't even lift my arm. I was. Like, to... Really? Yeah. Have you met any of the pros that do it for real? Yeah, yeah. Mm. We've got people that are on set all day, like you know. And the thing is, bless them. They'll go. Well, you can't. That wouldn't really happen in real life. But seeing as it's telly, go for your life. Do it. Because <laughs> yeah. you know, what do you do? You can't. It'd be really boring otherwise. Because then you'd just be like a whole hour would be just dealing with that one tiny little bit of detail so um Gosh. they're good at mixing it up a bit so you get the drama people. and yeah. hats off to the guys who do it for real because my goodness me they keep us safe and they are pretty amazing well and you got to, you were tasered for real <laughs> no no you weren't tasered for real i thought I she's tasered brave. for real it was just one of those things where you go i've never been tasered thankfully and i've never had to act being tasered so i was like right but okay so you fake the taser i had then. to fake it yeah fake it to That's make it sort of like the <laughs> theme of my life <laughs> Do you know what? If they'd have offered it, you know, I probably would have tried it, but you can't. Well, here we can't. have yeah, Frank with his taser. <laughs> um, I'm assuming no one else in the studio has ever been tasered, John. No, Liam. Have been CS gassed? Right. Have you? Yeah, I did. What? Oh gosh. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was uh, Cypress Hill, and uh, who were the other ones? House of Pain in Manchester Academy. Oof. We was at the gig, and loads of wrong ones come in Ooh, and dear. had a bit of a scrap and robbed all the. There was something going on anyway. We were down the next minute. All the building got CS gas and we were all coming out. God, that sounds terrible. It was mega. Oh, that sounds horrible. It was mega, man. It was 18, man. It was, was, was stung with Manchester oh, Academy years ago, man. <laughs> 
I think it was like eight, eight, nine or something. That's Maybe incredible. Nine, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, only like Liam would no, respond no, no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> only Liam. Yeah, yeah. Liam. Yeah. 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 alive, man. Kids don't know the barn today, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. AC concert oh. all that nonsense. It's very true. Um, Vicky is back with a brand new series of Trigger Points Sunday night at nine. On. I'm starting up playing Red Sails in the Sunset. You know, the feeling in your heart, it was, it was just magical. It was oh. wonderful. Thank what you. What was the suit like? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the suit wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> I did class. John, you need to have your own show where you interview people. I'm, no, I'm liking the John Squire questioning. <laughs> um, Alison, you are back with a brand new series of... I think they absolutely loved it. Liam, were you not nearly in Gavin and Stacey at one point? I don't know. Did you no. tell me? I don't know. No, no, no. I, no. I thought, did, did, I don't know. Why did you do that? No, a Christmas special? No memory of that? No, God, no, no I'd be terrible in it. I'm not Ian good at acting. No. Uh, he was in This Is England 86. He was a copper. Oh, yes, he was, he was wasn't yeah. he? he was. Fantastic. Yeah, fact but John, have they ever asked you to be in any teledramas? No. No? Disappointed at that? Documentary, yeah, didn't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody wants John Squire in... Uh, what are your favourite tele shows, John? You might want to make an appearance. Um... I like louder milk at the moment. Right, okay. Have you Ooh. seen that? No, I've not. Where I've do we find that? that? Uh, it just popped up on Netflix. It's oh. about um, an ex-music journalist who's host host AA meetings. Right, okay. I like the sound of that. I'll be looking that out. Louder milk. Yeah. Yeah. All okay. one word. All one word. Fantastic. I'll check that out immediately. Thank you. Great. Telly recommendations with John Squires yeah, is excellent. <laughs> um, you can see the second series of Here We Go. It's so funny. It's and people, how can I love you more? So much love coming in for all our guests this morning. Vicky, are there any plans for any more day fever events in Nottingham? I missed out this time, Lynn. From well, Nottingham. I can tell. I mean, this day fever thing's lost. It's gone new level. We've got two thousand people waiting on a list for London. I know there's a massive waiting list for Nottingham. Um, we're just about to put out so another date for Wales. Um, Murphy Tidville. Uh, they've had to open up a bigger capacity in Manchester because it? it's it? basically. Basically, a massive party, Stone Roses, Oasis, all the best sort of tracks from 1975 to 95, and it's party in the day. It's Reverend and the Makers, oh. Johnny, they've sort of set it up, and uh, yeah, it's a day rave. It's fantastic. So it's, it's, eight, it's, it's only two 15 quid. So you're home, but in time for a you know courier it's match of the day. Chase or yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it's, but yeah, it's been I mean, going. It's been it's going inspired. off. It's inspired. Yeah, it's inspired. Yeah. And I'm definitely got a camera. It just sounds brilliant. Yeah, there's been a couple that started in Sheffield, and that was brilliant. Sheffield's a great city. It's just you know people of a certain age just don't want to be out until two o'clock in the morning. No. You go, but people you still want to go and dance. That. Yeah, all that, all that lot. Yeah, it's just is it what <laughs> people haven't got jobs. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's for everyone it's for everyone wants to have a dance and yeah. you know and just not mm. ruin your weekend which is oh is that on the weekend then yeah yeah, yeah saturday yeah and there's a there is an insta account is it it's there is yeah. day, a day fever for, day account. fever that's yeah. it for people who want to go it looks brilliant and it's only 15 quid i mean come on yeah uh love in the trap wow. by liam and john uh fresh vibrant stellar guitar playing cannot wait to hear the whole album steve in chester and i mean this is just the tip of the iceberg just so, so many messages for you all today uh, love hearing Alison on the show this morning she's a comedy icon uh, me and my friend Nikki used to repeat quotes from Abigail's party all the time Claire in Gloucestershire uh, so much love for all of you uh, we finished the show I've been sent this by uh, an old mate from the Britpop era Alex James uh, sent us some English sparkling wine poison John you're doing dry January aren't you Am I? Oh, you no, know, you're not. It's not. You, well, come on then, we'll crack it open. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Liam, not tempted with wine no, and I'm cheese. I'm not drinking any of their gear, man. No. Poison. <laughs> Start singing stupid songs. Start building poison. I love you, else. Liam. Don't ever change. Uh, thank you so much to Liam and John for coming to see us. The new single, Mars to Liverpool, is out now. The album, Liam Gallagher and John Squire, is out on the 1st of March. Tickets for the tour go on sale next Friday. Uh, a tour happening in March and then in Europe in April. April. If you pre-order the album before Tuesday, you'll get early access to tickets. Well done, boys. Brilliant yeah, body work. Really is. Uh, Vicky is back with a brand new series of Trigger Point. 
Sunday night at nine on ITV One. First episode, amazing. I can't watch, wait to watch the rest, Vicky. All six episodes available on ITVX from Sunday. Props to Mark Stanley and the, the whole cast. Yeah. They're so brilliant. And you can see Alison Steadman in the second series of Here We Go, properly funny. Bravo, Tom. It starts next Friday at eight on BBC One. Whole series available as a box set on iPlayer. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you so much. This is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds and on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC Music.